Hey guys, what's going on? My name is John and welcome to my Nostalgia Holic channel. You know, this episode is going to be kind of an unusual episode. I don't think anyone on YouTube has ever done something like this before. But I came across some of my old yearbooks from elementary school, middle school, high school. And they brought back some fond memories. So I just want to kind of show you some of my yearbooks from, from years past. I'm really curious about your guys' yearbooks and I'd love to see video responses. I'd love to hear about some of your memories going through school. Uh, did you like high school? Did you like middle school, elementary school? I personally... I uh, love middle school the best. Uh, I loved elementary school as well. High school was great. Uh, I have made a lot of great friends. Still have some great friends from high school. But, you know, I moved during part of high school as well. My junior year, I moved out of state. So that made it kind of tough. Uh, learned to adapt, of course. And, you know, high school is very clicky. It always has been, probably always will be. Uh, but I still have a lot of great, fond memories of it. So without any further ado, let's take a closer look at some of my old yearbooks of years past. This is uh, Carl Sendall Elementary. This is 1987. I was in first grade. Uh, this is my very first yearbook. I didn't even have anyone sign it. The only person I had to sign it was myself. How lame is that? <laughs> uh, anyway, I was uh, first grade, so let's open to first grade. Okay. Let's, see, let's see if we can get a picture of me here real quick. Um, <laughs> there I am right there. That's me right there. Uh, Mr. Mixon. I have fond memories of uh, Mr. Mixon's class. Really funny stuff. Um, this is my second grade yearbook right here. This is from 1990, and I, I moved at the time. I moved from Folsom, California to Scottsdale, Arizona, and let's open this up. I was in the second grade where I'm at, Miss Manning's class. That's me in the top left corner there. I think I was wearing a Boy Scouts uniform. Who does that on picture day? Seriously. But it's kind of weird that they set it up like this where it was a classroom photo rather than like individual photos. My good friend Justin, a uh, real good friend of mine, I haven't talked to him in a long time, uh, but he had his leg got had ran over by a bus and uh, he had a whole bunch of uh, skin transfers and drafts and I hope he's doing well. I'd be curious to go through his Facebook and find out some of my old friends here. Uh, huge crush on, on Amy right there. She was a twin. I had a huge crush on her back in the day. So she happens to be watching this video. Uh, the secret's out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely have fond memories of second grade as well. Here's my third grade yearbook. This is uh, kind of an interesting cover. Save the Earth. This is also from Sequoia. This is a collage in front. 1990 through 1991. I don't know why I didn't have anyone sign. Oh, here you go. This is a small page I had people sign. Again, they just signed their name, first name. Nothing way too big. Same by the sixth graders back in the day. Let's see if I can find myself here. I have Mrs. Gowdy right here. So there I'm in the top left corner. I'm actually in the same position I was in the other photo. Um, if you guys watched, here's an interesting thing. If you guys watched The Bachelorette uh, recently, Ari Leindyke Jr., that's him right there. He was a good friend of mine back in the day. We used to hang out. Um, it was cool. He used to throw really killer like birthday parties. Him and his dad, they used to go like go karting. It was really cool. So Ari Leindyke Jr., that's him who was part of the Bachelorette. I think he was runner up on Bachelorette. And there I am right there. I don't know what happened to my fourth grade yearbook, but this is my fifth grade yearbook. And this is uh, from Cherry Crest Elementary School. I moved from Scottsdale, Arizona. I moved again from Scottsdale, Arizona to Bellevue, Washington, where I grew up initially. And this is from Bellevue. And again, people just sign sign their names. Kind of funny. I think I may have a couple of uh, have a good summer. <laughs> nice, nice know any kind of deal. That's funny. I wrote. That's not very nice. I must have not liked her very much. I don't know what happened there. Now let's go here to fifth grade. And it's weird. I mean, Bellevue it was like middle school was sixth through eighth, where like other schools I went to was. 7th and 8th, so, um, Mrs. Inman, here I am, and there I am wearing a Just Do It shirt right there, classic. They put the last names first, which is really weird, too. Good friends, a lot of, good, still good friends with Tyler Griffin, still good friends with, uh, with a lot of these people. Tyler Griffin was my best man at my wedding, actually, so, and went to college together, we were roommates at Arizona State, so, uh, good friend of mine. That's me in the troll mask. <laughs> during Halloween, I was a troll for Halloween, kind of weird. Moving on to middle school, Carpe Diem. This is Old Middle School, 93, 94. Now this is where people start signing some real stuff. It's kind of fun to see what people wrote. Mark Nelson, a good friend of mine who had unfortunately passed away a little while back, which is too bad, just tragically. But uh, see, I was in sixth grade. There I am. God, some of these shirts and just the pullover, 90s, like, plaid pullover shirt. 
Gotta love these. Oh, that's not very nice. Deborah Lim, she was my ex-girlfriend. Why did I... But Deborah, I am so sorry. Wow. She was an ex-girlfriend of mine. Hmm. Must have been pretty bitter, I'd say. That's not very nice either. I don't know what's going on there, John. Come on. That's pretty funny. I remember uh, hanging out after school. We used to play uh, Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario uh, Kart for the Super Nintendo. Good times. Ping pong after school. Playing some games. They had Papa Shot, stuff like that. Pretty cool. Ping pong. Social. Good times. Seventh grade, 94, 95. Some more signatures. That's me with the afro. <laughs> awesome. Humanities, PE. I loved middle school. I really did. Um, had a great group of friends growing up. Um, some of the... Here's a lip sync. I was in this. Where am I in this thing? There I am. <laughs> Uh, it's classic, classic stuff. My eighth grade yearbook. This is uh, final years of middle school. I don't know why they did in cursive writing. It's kind of hard to uh, find the names here, but I'm here somewhere. Again, I had the afro right there. That's me. I had uh, a lip sync here too somewhere. I was videotaping the lip sync too somewhere around. That's me. I did U2, with or without you. That's dead right there. It's awesome. And here's my freshman high school yearbook right here. Thunderbirds went to Sammamish High School in Bellevue, Washington. This is 1997. And this is kind of a cool. It says back in black, but you can barely read that unless you look at it a certain way. And uh, you got some long people write a whole, wrote a whole bunch of stuff. It's cool to go through those. Seniors are always in color. Their pictures are always in color. I was a freshman, so let's see where I'm at. Right there. Always crazy time. And in the back, there's like an index. It kind of shows you where where else everyone is featured, which is cool. So 89 is part of the jazz band. So there I am, somewhere in here. <laughs> but music, that was cool. Here, this is high school, 98. Went to Sammamish High School. I dated. Sonia right there. Sonia Volchak, she wrote a nice little thing there for me. One ex-girlfriend of mine I dated. And people start writing some, some long paragraphs. I wouldn't really consider myself um, part of one clique. I kind of was friends with everyone, to be honest with you. That's my picture right there. There I am, playing part of the jazz band, trombone. <laughs> awesome. Buddy Michael, still good, really good friends with him. Mike Butler. Junior year, I moved down to, back down to Scottsdale, Arizona, from Bellevue, so back and forth. And junior year, uh, this is from my junior year. There I am right there, junior year of high school. I have the sun in hair. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Um, getting dyed my hair a little bit doing that. I don't know what happened here. It got some damage, but 2000s when I graduated. The name's in Boston, the bottom there. Dated Mary, an ex-girlfriend of mine. She wrote a novel for me. That's, that's my ex-girlfriend Mary, who I dated for a while, several years actually. That's my senior yearbook picture right there. Here's an old newspaper from my high school newspaper. Hmm. I know that was kind of cool. This person obviously was a Nintendo fan. He was a Nintendo fan. Put a Mario sticker there for me. For me. So guys, that is it. Those are just kind of a quick history through my yearbooks. I'm curious if you guys still have hold, held on to your yearbooks like I did. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks again for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And take care. Bye-bye.